Hey y'all, Kevin from Hindsight and the whole Hindsight crew. And we have a special guest, Neil Cooper with us. He's a special guest. So, what I want to talk to everybody about tonight, and I got the whole group together because I've got this thing that's been bothering me lately, and it's about the whole car show, hobby, car, hobby, car enthusiast, car building, restoration, custom car, I'm going to call it a hobby, because that's kind of what I call it. Um, I'm afraid it's dying, and I'm going to give you my reason why I think it's dying, and the rest of the crew is going to kind of respond to that. We're just going to have a good dialogue about that topic. So here's my reason. Back in the early 90s, we started going to the Car Craft Street Machine Nationals. Super cool. The Coin, Illinois, we got hooked on it. We started going every year. Some of the coolest cars in the world are there, just in a big fairground setting. And we're in there in our 20s, long time ago. And we some really kick-ass cars. Most of those cars were owned by the guys at that time were in their 40s and 50s. Fast forward to 2021, and those we're guys- We're not in our 20s. We're not in our 20s anymore. And those guys, no offense, but they're at the end of the line as far as doing stuff with their cars. And I know Cam's got an opinion about that. Uh, but, but honestly, when we went to the Springfield NSRA show, I would venture to guess that the average car owner's age was early 70s. And that's just my opinion on what it was. We went Sunday because we were some of the diehard ones that stayed for the award ceremony just to see, you know, we were dumb enough to see if we won anything. We didn't. Um, but as we were sitting there in the arena, and there was quite a few people that hung around, all the diehards, they handed out all the awards for every award known to man that they come up with for that NSRA show. And there was one guy that won an award that was probably less than 60. And I'm going to guess he was in his 20s. He had a pretty nice Mustang. I don't remember what the hell he won for, but he won for something, probably well-deserved. But he was he was the only dude below 60, and I'm going to guess he was in his 20s. So that this whole thing has been going on in my head for a while. So when that happened, I'm looking around thinking, and I'm actually looking at the crowd, and he was the only dude younger than us that was there. So, and like I said, that's the diehards. That's Sunday afternoon. It was a crappy day. Most people went home by then. Um, that just furthered my thought of this whole this whole hobby is dying. Um, and and, I, and I'm afraid of that. So we're going to kind of have a little bit of discussion about that freely. But what I'd like. By the time you're done watching this video, it's for you to comment down in the comments and give us your take on what you think. Um, is it truly dying? Is it just morphing to something else? Um, what's going on with this car enthusiast, custom car hobby? Um, what's going to What's it going to be like in 20 years? Are we going to see just a bunch of drifting cars? Are we going to see some? Badass front wheel drive Honda cars, and, and I'm not against any of it because whatever your thing is, I'm good with it. I just don't want to see this kind of stuff and this kind of stuff and some of the other stuff you can't see around here. I, I don't want to see it die. Um, so whatever we can do to try to help further this and get anybody into this and try to get them enthused about it or help them get over a hump if they're stuck on how to get into it or what to do on their car. They got a car, they, they bought an old car because it was a cool idea to buy this project. And now it's sat in their, car, in their garage for three years and they don't really know what the hell to do. Yeah, three, that ain't nothing. You just bought it. So, <laughs> so I, I know you, some of you guys have thoughts on this and um, we've had a little bit of discussion about it, but give me, give me some ideas about what's going on. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Am I full You're dirty. Keep keep in mind, we went to a street ride national show. 
most everybody is older, that has older cars, the older people have the money. Not going to lie, for the most part. When we were... Am I an older person? Yes, you are. Yeah. Hey, man, I yeah. Honestly, though, we're getting there. No, yeah, I have that, that's a fact. That's, 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 that's what we have. That's 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 so when we were 20s, we were, you know, we had some cool stuff to play with, but we didn't, we didn't have, have 32, you know, boards that were, you know, completely ran out that was beautiful. Uh, you know, Jay had a nice truck, you had a nice truck and everything, you had GTO and all that. Yeah. yeah, so we had stuff that was nice, we didn't have anything that was super over the top. Uh, but all the older people had all the damn money that were building those super, super nice cars. Uh, you go to a street machine national or a street car takeover or whatever, the newer cars are easily, you can buy one off a lot, you can modify it, you can do whatever to go find something like this or like this or your 56 or the Roadrunner, the Mustang the Fury, you're going to have to spend some time, you're going to have to spend some money, sometimes parts aren't available, you're going to have to spend a little bit more time and money to get one, even on the road. I mean, you know, you, you say you're done with this. I don't agree, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy, by the way. Please, yeah. done. You love it's, it's, it's not that done in thing. my book. Yeah. Even if you would ask any of those guys, if we would have walked up to them on our first Decoying Street Machine Nationals and talked to them about it, every one of them would have told you they were oh, yeah. done. No, no, there's no, no, there's no never, such thing as never never done. done. Never, I just think done. that Woody thinks that maybe you guys should be able to. I think you should paint Maybe there's a little difference between. We should fix now. this and it's we should paint it. Well, you are a body guy. And that's why I'm just saying. And I'm a painter. I play with shiny all day long. I'm not a painter. I don't like it. I want to do the other side. I want to make it go. If it looks eh, fine. I get it. I can drive it right. across the country. May not have the best right. of the world. Cheers. But of course okay. they might blow the muffler out. Cheers. But anyway. All right. So, Mike. But uh, okay. You. So, you guys said that. Are you content with yours being done? Because no, you have, it's you not have done. a whole list. That's not stuff. done. No, no. And Cam is the same one. Yeah. But. But I will go ride it. And I'm not, that's badass. Because I, 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 I had the whole way really as much fun. Of I'm driving from Kansas out. City to Louisville and back. Mm -hmm. That's an adventure. That's nope. awesome. That's badass. Because it is the adventure, it's not the destination. But. Yeah, and you, you got to be realistic. Everything I did to this truck, it took me 10 or 11 years. Somebody could have done it in six months. Oh, got it from yeah. where it was to the point that it's at now in six months if they were working on it. I just am kind of slow and lazy to drive it out. So, yeah, and, that's, and we all have other things that, that are going on in our lives. Took me to do mine. Yeah. I mean, we all have things going on in our lives, but but is it is it dying? I mean, is there any reality to this? Every time we've gone to a car show, these bigger NSRA shows, the last two Louisvilles we've gone to, literally the average age has to be 60 to 70. Alright, so back so back when we were going in the 90s. How many cars how many cars were it? How many cars were it? Uh, 3,461 I remember. Jesus Christ, how do you remember that? There was less than 3,500 cars. Yeah. Definitely. How many cars were it? And that's right. Well, that, over 10,000. Those are kind of big differences of. But it's the same. That Louisville show's been going on forever. Yeah. We went. We went to. We went to. Uh, the no, no, the coin for ten years. Yeah. And it was. Not the same. Thousand cars. Yeah. Thirty-five. Yeah. 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 Louisville is pretty I, consistent. I'm going to say ten thousand. How many of us This year in this fantastic, stupid year we had. Was it fifteen hundred? Is that why? No, it was, I thought it was. It was less than that. I thought. Yeah. No, it was like. Because they had one of the best. They said they had one of the best trails because. Like, I thought it was like seven yeah. hours. It's pretty good. Yeah. No. No. That no, right? no. That was they, 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 no. That aircraft would have pulled more than probably 2,200 cars. Yeah. I was. You might have been driving. Probably was. Speaking of which, I'm still so, going to work. Oh. And we, we promised we would get this video done quick because Wendell's got to pee.
So the longer we, we, might, we stop, might have to stop the more, and the more skittish he might get. And if you see him dancing, we can add him right. a little bit. So yeah, I'll take one of those. <laughs> hey, one of those. Oh, I saw a game with that. No, not, we're not, not going to have that now. Not that game. That's a different game altogether. So again. Give us your comments below about what you think about what's going on with this hobby. We're gonna go out and pee now. Hey guys, so do me a favor. Drive it. So, let, right out and drive it. Let, let us let us know in the comments. Let us know if. Right hey, am I wrong? Is this hobby dying, or is it just morphing, or is it that people have stuff hidden away in their garage that they're afraid to take out? What is it? Let us know what it is, let us know what you think, and um, comment below and fill us in on the real world, because we're just in this little group of us trying to figure out what's going on in this world. All right? I got an intro. How long were you guys in there?